There has been a nationwide anti-tobacco campaign, but that seems to be going up in smoke when it comes to the Bihar government. For Nitish Kumar has decided not to levy tax on chewing tobacco in the state. In election season, this move is now being seen as a ploy to woo voters. But the question is, can public health be sacrificed at the cost of votes? Lungs are like sponges designed to soak up air. But some people use their lungs to soak up cigarette smoke. The central government is spending a fortune on its anti-tobacco drive, but its message is clearly lost on the Bihar government. In a shocking move, Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar has decided to exempt chewing tobacco from tax. It took just a delegation of tobacco farmers, a politically powerful lobby to convince Nitish of the benefits of the move. It didn't matter that the move will promote consumption of tobacco. It has been an established principle of central government as well as the state government that any produce of agriculture in which only and only farmers are involved, those would be exempted from any uh, this tax net. So it has been decided by the government it's in its uh, welcome state. A whopping 63% of Bihar's male population and 35% of its female population is addicted to chewing tobacco. The tax exemption cuts prices for them by as much as 30%, making it more affordable. No wonder then the opposition is slamming Bihar government's move, calling it a cheap ploy for popularity ahead of the elections. The government has given a tax on tobacco and a tax on tobacco. The whole world and the government has given a whole lot of crores because tobacco is a way to cancer. द्वार है और कैंसर को यामंत्रित करने के लिए किसानों को प्रेडित कर रहे हैं। Interestingly, the people of Bihar too are not pleased with Nitish Kumar's decision, as they feel that tax exemption would encourage the use of tobacco. But in election season, public health seems to have taken a beating in Bihar. With Rohit Singh in Patna, Bureau Report, Headlines Today.